In this video, I'm gonna show you a tour of the Cake and Cookie Planner digital version. This is a planner that you can use in any note-taking app like GoodNotes, Notability, Zoto. My favorite is GoodNotes and you will see me using GoodNotes throughout all of my videos. I'm gonna show you what we include, all the special features. Let's get started and take a deeper look. Our planner currently comes in three different styles. The first one is our modern planner. The second one is our classic floral planner. And the third one is our limited edition flower child planner. These also come with a consultation notepad and a sticker book. And they all come in Sunday or Monday starts. Keep in mind that all three of these planners are identical in functionality. The only thing that differs is their style. Our modern planner is super customizable and perfect really for everyone because you can add your own colors and flair. While our floral planner is our original planner and it has beautiful florals throughout the entire planner that you can color and customize yourself. Or you can go with our brand new limited edition flower child planner, which includes this colorful, joyful, retro vibe planner that is just going to bring joy to your life. All right, let's open this bad boy up and take a look inside. For the majority of this tour, I'm going to try to keep it quick because we do have a more in-depth video you can always check out here on our channel. But for now, we're going to open up the modern planner as it is the most versatile of all the three and take a look. In order to take advantage of the interactive functionality of our planner, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you are in view only mode. Simply tap the icon in the corner to turn off the edit mode and you'll be able to tap any of our links to help you jump around easily and navigate through our planner with ease. In our help section, you will find a lovely little reference here for some of the links that we have in the month spread. However, we have links throughout this entire planner. You're going to easily be able to jump between each month by using the side tabs here. Up on the top left, we have a toolbar full of helpful resources and guides. And off to the right here, you will see customizable tabs that are like folders that you can add your own stuff in. Tap the icon in the corner to go back to the dashboard. Here you will find more tappable links, including our pages and our templates. In our year at a glance page, you will also be able to jump easily to the month. And if you'd like to jump to the week, use the first dot at the beginning of the week and that will jump right into the week spread. You can also find these same functionalities in the month spread. At the very beginning of the week, if you tap the bar, that will jump to that week. Next up is one of my favorite and unique features of our planner. Because this is a PDF planner, you don't have the ability to create automatic reminders and notifications, reminder emails like you would with an app. That's where our direct Google Calendar links come in. All you have to do is tap the little plus icon and that will open up Google Calendar on your iPad directly to that day and you can simply add your reminder. So this really makes it fuss free while using an app you probably already use and love. Plus, I only use this for really important reminders, stuff that is out of the norm or for personal stuff that I just need that little reminder about. You will also find this feature in our weekly spread at the top corner. When it comes to actually planning, there are so many ways to go about it. We have our monthly spread, our weekly spread, and also our daily spread. So the daily spreads you can add in as you need. The monthly and weekly are always there for you and hyperlinked again throughout the planner. With the help of our stickers and all of the great note taking tools inside of these note apps, you can really customize and create your own systems that fit your business and your needs. You can utilize our special stickers that we've created just for cake and cookie decorating. These are here and designed with you in mind, talking about order dates, due dates, all sorts of stickers that will help you with your daily reoccurring things that we all have to deal with in our cake businesses, including customizable lists that will really help you streamline this week to week without having to redo things over and over again. Another favorite feature that is unique to our planner is these lists that are at the bottom of every weekly spread. These lists contain a lot of our common everyday things that we do as bakers. And what I like to do is highlight all the tasks, starting with the delivery day and then working my way back. And that way I know that I've covered all the major things I need to do in the week and it really streamlines the process. If you find yourself needing more room than we have in the weekly spread, don't worry, we have daily templates 
templates that you can copy and paste into any week. All you do is come into the daily templates, choose the one you want, make a copy of it, and then paste it in front of the week and then start filling it out. So you have that daily spread right there. There's a lot more room to work with. Back at our dashboard, you can see that all of these tools up here also match the icons in the index here. So if you ever get confused about what those icons mean, you can find that here. These are also links, so you can just tap directly into these items from this page. As you can see, we have a variety of pages and helpful guides that are made just for cake and cookie decorators, along with all of our templates over here, which are reusable. As I showed you earlier with the daily spread, all of these templates are the same way. You can just copy and paste them wherever you need. At the bottom here, you're going to see some blank pages. We have a dotted page, a blank page, a grid page, and a lined page. The sections right here match up with the sections at the top left. Again, these are just sections that you can customize yourself. So you can see I've added some different names to these sections and I've highlighted them in special colors. You can do anything you want with these sections. They are completely customizable to your needs. So for instance, I'll show you what I've done with these sections. This is the habit tracker section. So when I swipe to the left, you'll see that I've added a habit tracker here and I'm tracking my January month for all of these habits here and just kind of seeing how I do across the month. This is one of our templates. Let's go to the second section. This is my inspiration board section. And in this, I'm just adding a bunch of different images and ideas for my next cake. Love doing this. I highly suggest doing this. In our third section, I've just added a business journal and I've simply added a lined page, created my own lines in the center, and just going to add important things that may have happened that day or month. And that's it. So that's what I've chosen to do. You can do whatever you want. It's your heart's desire. Let's take a quick look at our planner pages. So this is our year at a glance. This is our entire year. This is our goal planning. So I really enjoy planning my goals out for the year and then kind of just spreading out different things that I want to do throughout the months in the next page over. This can be used for multiple things. And then we have our sweet events. These are events that are happening in our industry and we have them all listed out along with clickable links so that when the dates do come out for those events, you can simply just add them in here. Next up is our contacts list. This is pretty self-explanatory, but this is a great way to keep track of your favorite vendors. And then we have our grocery list and specialty list. So this is all of our cake items that we commonly use. I treat this as a dry erase board type of thing. So I will actually clear this out when I'm done with it and just reuse it again and again. Now we also have templates that you can actually use and make a copy of if you want to keep track with this week after week. This is something you can put in your sections area or in your weekly spread and keep track of the type of things that you're going through and how quickly you're going through them. What's great about these lists is you can list out what you have on hand and then you can list out what you need. You can highlight everything that you actually need to get so that when you are shopping, you can quickly see and then you can check off everything as you get it. So it's very easy to use and super user-friendly. Another thing I love to do is actually use my phone version of the planner, which is syncable between devices. So when I'm at the store, I don't have to bring my entire iPad, I can just use my phone. Next up, you will find our handy conversions. These just have a list of conversions that we need as bakers in the kitchen. These are great, especially love the high altitude. Since I'm a Colorado girl, I come from a high altitude. It's really nice to have those there. Next up, we have our cake guides. These are super useful when it comes to planning your cake. So we have rounds, squares, and sheets. And then we have cakes, icing amount, fondant amount, circumference, and cake servings. Next up, we have our rounds stack guide. So I have a ton of different ideas for you for different stacks, including the total serving amount and the serving per each tier. These are super helpful for when you're planning your cakes, obviously, and you need a certain serving amount, but these are really great to use to show your customers some different ideas for stacks too. And we have that exact same thing here with square tiers. 
Next up is our bonus consultation notepad. We include these with all of our planners. Absolutely love these. I find them essential when I'm doing cake consultations. So you can see this front page here has all sorts of important information that you need to grab from your customer, including a place to sketch your cake. And then if you swipe to the left, you're going to see the back side where you have even more information like the vendor information. You can start breaking down the price, the flavors, all that important information that you need to know and that your customer customer needs to know. And then you can also track what they are giving you deposit wise and how they're doing with their payments along with a labor tracker at the bottom here. So this is like a office only type of thing, right? Your customer will never see this, but this is something for you to track your labor on. So one of the things that I feel like we need the most help with is kind of understanding where our time goes. So this is a place where you can write down your tasks that you have to do, write down how much time you think they're going to take, and then how much time they actually took while you're doing them. This is going to help you so much when it comes to pricing your cakes in the future and really understanding where your time is going. Last up is our sticker book. This is full of customizable widgets and helpful customizing tools to help you track what you want to track. So for instance, if you want to track your social media, we have a social media widget. If you want to track your meals, we have a meal widget. If you want to track your water, we've got a widget for that. And then we have these customizable ones where you can add whatever you want. Say I did want to use that social media one. I'm just going to copy it, go back into my planner, go to my week spread and paste it right into that week. And now I can track my social media engagement and posts throughout the week, see how I'm doing, see how I'm keeping up. These are one of my favorite items of our stickers. It's customizable lists. So what you do is you copy each of these and you can create your own list off here to the side. There's a little button in the top corner there. If you tap that, that's actually a video on YouTube that'll show you exactly how to use these. Now what's great about these is you can make your baking list. So you can write out all of your cake flavors and all of your fillings, all the things you most commonly make, and you can have that list ready to go week after week and just paste it where you need it when you need it. It's great, saves so much time and energy, and it really just streamlines things. These are our reminder stickers and other icons. These are great because you can add them to your elements inside of GoodNotes and use them over and over again quickly through the elements interface. This will really help for you to quickly see when you have orders due or you just want to make it aesthetically pleasing in your planner. I think that's something that makes me happy and I'm sure making it a little bit aesthetically pleasing in your life will also make you happy. This is your space. You get to decorate it and do it however you want. And this is one of the ways that we can kind of customize it and make it special. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for our quick tour of our digital cake and cookie planner. If you love this and you're intrigued and you wanna get your hands on one of your own, the link is below, or you can find it at www.cakeandcookieplanner.com. Keep in mind that there is a little bit of a learning curve with all of these things. And if you have any questions, I'm always there. One of the best ways to talk to me and to fellow cakers who are doing the same thing you are is to get inside of our Facebook group. We are talking all things cake sketching and all things cake planning. So be sure to get in there. That's where all the good stuff is happening. All right, that's it. Happy new year. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.